What is up going on guys and welcome to the channel. My name is Philly Beats You and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to reset Max Raid Battle. Okay, so you guys might be wondering, how do you reset a raid battle? Or even a matter of fact, what is a reset raid battle? So basically, you guys by now know that there are raids that appear in the world and raids that appear on your friends list. Let's talk about single player experience. When you approach a raid pillar, make sure to save right before it before entering into that raid pillar. Therefore, if you fail the Pokemon or you lose and the Pokemon escapes, quickly reset the game and then get back out and then the raid will reset when you come back in the game the pillar will still be there and the pokemon will be there now here's the thing let's just say for example you bump into a shiny g max pokemon okay that's big so what you want to do is well save before like i said enter the battle if you catch it great you don't have to reset it if you don't catch it bad reset the raid battle and you don't have to wait for something special to show up again so for this example that I'm going to be showing you, it's going to be the online example. When you play with a friend, which is actually kind of big because a friend can actually help you get what you want, um, even if they have something. So in this case, I'm going to be playing with my buddy Zundu. Hello. And I'm going to be showing you basically both cameras of us playing. Now, what's going on is he found the raid battle in his gameplay. So we'll switch over to his gameplay of him finding a, a G Max Butterfree. Now, neither of us have it, but in this case, let's pretend that he already has it so we're gonna battle it have an intense fight break it get it to the part where we have to catch it and what's gonna happen is i'm gonna throw a pokeball for this sake because i know pokeballs have a very low probability of catching it and it's gonna break out of my pokeball and just like i said butterfree breaks out of it so because i was not able to catch butterfree and it saves on my end zundu who started the raid on his game on his gameplay as you can see here he's going to quickly exit out reloads his game so he comes back in he quits the software starts it up comes back in and where he loads back in guess what that raid is there again which gives me his friend a second chance at catching g max butterfree so what we're gonna do is he's gonna initiate the exact same raid because he never saved afterwards he saved before the raid and then quit the battle when the raid failed for me or if it failed for him because the game stays after you come out the raid i join him we fight Butterfree to the death again. We both this time are able to knock down Butterfree. I throw my Pokeball first. I catch Butterfree, which then sends a signal to him that, okay, Philly got it. Therefore, I'm going to throw it out and I'm going to catch it. Now, he then throws his Pokeball and catches it. And now we both acquired G-Max Butterfree just like that. And that is the trick on how to soft reset in order to get the Pokemon you want and to help your fellow friends get the Pokemon they want if it's not them that start the battle, but it's you that start the battle. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and don't forget to join the Discord server because we have crazy max raid battles happening all the time. Everyone's helping out each other. So guys, my name is Philly Beats You, and I will be seeing you guys in the next video. Take care.